Hey everyone, you're watching We Had That, and today I'm going to talk about Ewoks. Well, two specific Ewoks to be exact, Chief Chirpa and Logre, sometimes known as the Blacked Out Ewoks. In 1977, George Lucas released the movie Star Wars, and kids everywhere lost their minds. They loved it. They loved it so much that they wanted to buy anything with the Star Wars logo on it. But more than anything else, kids wanted Star Wars figures. For almost a decade, the toy company Kenner sold millions of action figures to Star Wars-loving kids. There was a little bit of a learning curve for Kenner at the beginning. They had no idea that the demand would be so high for these toys. And when Christmas rolled around in 1977, the figures weren't in stores yet. But the demand for these toys was so high that Kenner was selling empty boxes to the parents with the promise that the figures would come later. By the time the third movie, Return of the Jedi, was rolling out, Kenner had this whole Star Wars merchandising thing down. They had the figures in the stores before the movie was in theaters. George Lucas was happy to sell all the Star Wars figures Kenner could sell, but he wanted to keep some of the characters a surprise. The Ewoks in particular were supposed to remain unseen until the movie came out. Those little furry alien teddy bears weren't pictured or even mentioned in any of the trailers for Return of the Jedi before the movie. It was all very hush-hush. As a result of the secrecy, the photo of the action figures on the back of the cards, you know, the one that shows all the Star Wars figures that are available, had blacked out the two Ewoks, Chief Chirpa and Logre. Man, if that didn't pique kids' interest in those two figures, I don't know what would. That's some top secret stuff right there. Now make no mistake, Kenner still sold those two figures. They even have photos of Chief Chirpa and Logre filling up the entire front of their respective packages. But on the back of the package, they were both blacked out and it was shrouded in mystery. Now, maybe Chief Chirpa and Logre's figures were held back from the release until the movie came out. I don't know. But I do know that both Chief Chirpa and Logre were released on two different cards that were almost identical. The only difference was that on one version, both figures were pictured on the back of the card, and on the other version, they were obscured by solid black blobs. I just don't understand the point of the blacked out version. I mean, why bother blacking out the picture on the back when the actual figure and photographs of the characters are on the front? Who knows? Anyway, just like every other kid my age at the time, I saw Return of the Jedi in the theater and I loved it. I thought the Ewoks were cool. I thought the Ewok action figures were cool. Chief Chirpa came with a little stick and a removable brown hood. And Logre, who according to his package was the Ewok medicine man, came with a fancy stick and a fancy removable, even darker brown hood. Plus, he had a bag that he could wear which presumably contained all of his medicine man stuff. I bought Chief Chirpa and Logre and I was happy to have them in my collection, even if I didn't know exactly which Ewoks they were in the movie. I mean, I remembered the Ewoks from Return of the Jedi, but except for that one Ewok who first met Princess Leia, none of them were all that defined in my memory. I'm pretty sure not a single Ewok name was ever spoken in the movie. I don't even think the word Ewok was ever spoken in the movie. So when Chief Chirpa and Logre joined my collection, I probably assumed that Chief Chirpa was the Ewok that hung out with Princess Leia. I mean, that was the main Ewok. Obviously, he'd be one of the two that Kenner made, right? You may be thinking... But Chief Chirpa didn't look anything like Wicket. Well, yeah, but I'd only seen the movie once. And plus, think about the Walrus Man action figure. He didn't look very much like the guy who got his arm cut off in the cantina scene in Star Wars, but that's who he was supposed to be. Sometimes the figures didn't look that much like the character from the movie. And that's if I remembered what the characters from the movie looked like. I mean, I'd only seen Return of the Jedi once at that point. You know, things were different in the 80s. Today, you can look up information about anything online. In the 80s, it wasn't so easy to research the details of different topics, especially pop culture. This little Chief Chirpa dude did look like an Ewok. The Ewok who hung out with Princess Leia had a stick. This Ewok had a stick. The Ewok who hung out with Princess Leia had a hood. This Ewok had a hood. They were both furry. They both looked like little teddy bears. In my little kid brain, it worked. It is kind of weird that Kenner didn't release a figure for the actual Ewok who hung out with Princess Leia until 1984. By the way, it turns out his name was Wicket, not Chief Chirpa. 
once I saw that figure, I thought, oh yeah, that's the main Ewok from the movie. I would think he'd be the one Ewok that every kid would want. But maybe Kenner was just being smart. Maybe they knew we'd buy whatever Ewoks they made available in the first wave. And then next year, when they released the better Ewok, we'd all buy another figure. Maybe they'd learned the lesson that you need to spread out the releases of the main action figures over multiple waves so that all the cool ones aren't in the first wave, leaving you with more and more filler characters with each subsequent wave. Well, if they did learn that lesson, they forgot when they released the Superpowers collection a few years later, and every A-list superhero was released in Wave 1. But anyway, we're not talking about Kenner's Superpowers, and I can't tell you with any kind of authority what Kenner was thinking when they were releasing the Star Wars figures. I can only tell you what I knew. And I knew I liked these two Ewoks, whoever they were. I was exactly the target audience for these little creatures. And years later, when I watch Return of the Jedi and Logre is talking with C-3PO, I know his name is Logre because of the action figure. And when Chief Chirpa is doing nothing in particular and I'm thinking, I think that's Chief Chirpa. I know his name because of the action figure too. In fact, my Star Wars memories are heavily shaped by the toys. I've seen Star Wars many, many times, and every time I see Ben Kenobi chop off that dude's arm in the cantina, and you tell me, oh, that's Panda Baba, and I'm thinking, I'm not going to argue with you, but he'll always be Walrus Man to me. And every time I watch Return of the Jedi, I guess Chief Chirpa and Logre will always be those blacked out Ewoks. Well, what did you think of the Ewoks from Return of the Jedi? Did you have any of the action figures for Chief Chirpa or Logre or any of the other Ewoks when you were a kid? Tell me in the comments below. Also, please give this video a thumbs up, and it would really help me out if you would share it on social media. If you enjoy my content, please hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell right next to it. And one last thing, if you're a fan of toys, you should know about Toylanta, the biggest toy show in the southeastern United States, held annually just north of Atlanta, Georgia. Visit toylana.com for more information. As always, thanks for watching.